Welcome back everyone to Learning Beautician. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.35 and it says the 5 megagram bus is traveling to the right at 20 meters per second. Meanwhile, a 2 megagram car A is traveling at 15 meters per second to the right. If the vehicles crash and become entangled, determine their common velocity just after the collision. Assume that the vehicles are free to roll during collision. Alright, so we're given the figure, we got the bus B, and it's traveling at 20 meters per second. We're also given this little car A that is traveling at 15 meters per second, okay? So, as always, let's just start by writing out our givens. So, I'm going to start with the mass of the boss B is equal to 5 megagrams. If we convert these 5 megagrams into kilograms, we're going to end up with 5,000 kilograms and the reason why I'm doing this is just because kilograms is more like of a standardized unit uh, for the SI units okay they're also giving us that the velocity of this boss B is equal to 20 meters per second then afterwards they're giving us that the mass of my car A is equal to 2 megagrams so again if we convert it it's going to be 2000 kilograms the velocity of my car A is equal to 15 meters per second. All right, so this is all I'm given. After that, they're telling me that these two vehicles are crashing and then entangled together. What do they mean by this is that they're going to get stuck together. And if we were to kind of draw it in a very bad way, I will say, <laughs> in a bad drawing, well, the bus will look something like this and the little car looks something like this and they get entangled together so they are going to be attached together at this point is where we're interested to know what is the velocity so what is this velocity when these two cars basically are together and in order to do that we're going to utilize the conservation of linear momentum equation of chapter 15 which we have to do the summatory of uh, all the masses times the velocity uh, in the initial point has to be equal to the summatory of the masses times the velocity on our second point okay so let's just start with that so in our first point what i mean by that in our initial conditions we have these two masses mass of b and mass of a so we will have two um terms to add so if we start with the first one we're going to have the mass of the boss which is um i'm sorry which is 5,000 kilograms multiplied by the velocity of the boss which is 20 meters per second plus the mass of the car which is um, 2,000 kilograms multiplied by its velocity which is 15 meters per second and this has to be equal to the mass of our second part that we're interested which is in here when they are together meaning that the mass of the boss b and the mass of a are now together since they are together we're going to add them up kind of like being a new vehicle like a, a larger vehicle of 7000 kilograms the addition of both of them right the addition of 5000 and 2000 multiplied by the velocity i'm going to call it the velocity sub 2 okay because it's our second part our second point uh i'm sorry this is not a square and after this all we have to do is plug it into our calculator so let's try to go ahead and if i solve for everything on my left side i add these two guys up we're going to have a total of a hundred and thirty thousands and this has to be equal to our 7,000 multiplied by my velocity in my second part. If I solve for my velocity, well, this velocity is just going to be our 130,000 divided by 7,000. And if we plug this into our calculator, it gives me a total of 18.57 meters per second. Okay? And this should be our final answer for this problem so i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one